Hey everybody, it's me Joe and I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about 10 really funny insults. So usually I'm a very positive person and I don't want to insult people. But if you're watching TV or movies, sometimes you hear these things. So I'm going to tell you 10 very popular and very funny insults to make somebody else feel bad because they're doing something dumb. Okay? <laughs> All right. Also, if this is your first time visiting my channel, you should uh, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. All right? So when I make a new video, you can see it. All right, let's check out that list. Here we go. Number one is, why don't you slip into something more comfortable, like a coma? Okay, <laughs> so this one means if you're asking someone, usually it's a woman that wants to slip into something more comfortable, take off their office clothes and maybe put on something comfortable to be around the house. They'll say, I want to slip into something more comfortable. So, <laughs> but the word, verb slip also goes with coma, slip into a coma. And a coma is when you're unconscious in the hospital. So if you say this to someone, that means you want them to be unconscious in the hospital. Why don't you slip into something more comfortable, like a coma? All right. Here's number two. Number two is, you have a great face for radio. Okay. So now this starts off as a compliment when you say someone has a great face. They used to be in the old days, they'd say, you have a great face for show business or you have a great face for television. But if you say you have a great face for radio, nobody can see you on the radio. So it's an insult, meaning you are ugly. <laughs> you should go on the radio if you're going to be in any kind of business. All right. Don't show your face. Number three. I like this one a lot. If you're having an argument with somebody, you can say, <clears throat> well, I could agree with you, but then we'd both be wrong. Okay. So you're arguing with somebody and obviously you think they're wrong and you're right. And they say, why don't you agree with me? And say, well, I could agree with you, but then we would both be on the wrong side. <laughs> I don't want to join you on the wrong side. All right. Number four, this one again starts like a compliment and then it finishes with, with an insult. You bring everyone a lot of joy when you leave the room. Okay. So it starts off, you're telling someone that they bring people joy, they bring people happiness. And at the end of it, you say, no, when you leave the room. So when you go away, people become happier. Okay. Number five. All right. Number five is kind of a poem. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I have five fingers. The third one <laughs> is for you. All right. So this comes from, there's an old common poem. Roses are red. Violets are blue. You know, you are so sweet and I love you. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> All right. But if you say it this way, roses are red, violets are blue. I have five fingers and I don't want to do it. Right. Five fingers. And the third one, right. Bring down all the other fingers. You're left with the middle finger, giving the person a finger. All right. All right. This one. Uh, it's kind of a response to somebody. Somebody says, well, you know, I like to speak my mind. So if they say, I like to speak my mind, that means if I have an idea, I have a thought, I say it. I like to speak my mind. Okay. So this is a response. If you spoke your mind, you'd be speechless. <laughs> so, that, <laughs> so, so what that means is if you really spoke what's on your mind, You'd be speechless, meaning you wouldn't say anything because there's nothing in your mind. Your mind is empty. Okay? If you spoke your mind, 
you'd be speechless. All right, next one, number seven. You're as useless as a screen door in a submarine. Okay, so, so everybody knows a screen, uh, a, a submarine is a ship in the Navy, a boat that goes underwater, okay? It's underneath the water. And sometimes if during war it'll get damaged, there'll be holes in the submarine, water gets in, you have to close the doors and they have to be, you know, they have to be tight so water doesn't flood everywhere and people die. So this guy, this insult saying you're, you're as useful, you're as useless as a screen door in a submarine, meaning those doors have to be metal and reinforced and water can't get through, but a screen door is just a screen where, where air can flow through easily. It put, it's great to have those in the summer in, on your house. Just leave, you know, open the door, but leave the screen door, keep the bugs out, but the wind and the air and the fresh air can come in, but you don't want it in a submarine, so it's useless. So this expression means you are useless. I have no use for you. You don't help anything. All right, the next one. The next one uses the word pretty in a funny way. Um, so if we say pretty, it can mean kind of above average or very, like, hey, that guy's pretty tall. That means fairly tall, or that was a pretty good movie. So that means it was a fairly good or a very good movie, okay? So here's this insult, number eight. You are pretty in three ways. Pretty stupid, pretty ugly, and pretty likely to stay that way. <laughs> All right, so you start off with kind of a compliment again. You're pretty in three ways. Pretty stupid, so that means very stupid. Pretty ugly means very ugly. And pretty likely to stay that way means you are going to stay that way. You're not going to change. You won't get smarter and you won't get prettier. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, I'm, <laughs> I'm not advising you to say that to anybody. Somebody will punch you in the face if you say that. But if you hear it in a movie, that's what it means. All right. Here's number nine. <laughs> Did your parents ever ask you to run away from home? <laughs> okay. So <laughs> when uh, kids uh, are growing up, sometimes they disagree with their parents, especially here in North America, you know, very independent teenagers, they get upset and they don't want to follow their parents' rules anymore. So sometimes they run away from home, right? They just get some clothes and a little bit of money and they run away. So it's really scary for the parents. Where's the kid? We can't find him. And sometimes, sometimes it's tragic. They, they disappear forever. Or sometimes they come back after a day or two. They're just over at a friend's house. Okay. But anyway, it is very, very scary for the parents. Okay. When a teenager runs away. But this, this insult is saying, did your parents ever ask you to run away from home? Meaning you're so terrible that I think maybe your parents, the people who love you the most, wanted you to leave, wanted you to run away from home. <laughs> All right. And here's the last one. Number 10. You waited. Okay. <laughs> so this insult is a question. And <laughs> so it could be an insult to the person or it could be you're talking about somebody who is not very smart or who, who did something stupid. And this one is, don't you need a license to be that stupid? <laughs> so that means in most countries, you need a license to do things. You need a license to drive a car. Um, in America, you need a license to own a gun, right? So you have to get government permission, a little license, a card, fill it. You got to take a test and stuff. All right. So if somebody does something really stupid, you could say, oh, don't you need a license to be that stupid? As if you're, you're being surprised that that guy is so stupid, it's over some limit that, no, you, you can't do that. Not, nobody can be that stupid. You need a license. That's, that's special stupid. 
All right. Okay. So those are 10 funny insults that maybe you'll hear. And again, remember, I'm not, I'm not recommending you say these to anybody because you might get hurt and I don't want to cause any fights. All right. If you have any questions and you want to ask me about some of those insults, or if you have any other insults of your own, put them down in the comments below and I'll write back to you. Also, always check in the notes under the video. I put links in there to help you continue learning. All right. Also, <laughs> if you don't want to insult anybody and you just want to have a conversation, why don't you check out this video that talks about great conversation questions. All right. <laughs> See ya.